I just wanted to make a quick video showing my autonomous standing desk setup because it is one of those things I got and I really love considering I work from home and spend hours on end over my desk. And I got this set up almost five years ago, certainly over four years ago, and I got it because I developed some very severe elbow pain. And I went to an orthopedic specialist and he said, look, what you have is cubital tunnel syndrome here. And a lot of people that spend hours on end working at their desk with per poor ergonomics, that's tough to say, poor ergonomics, develop this cubital tunnel syndrome. And what we can do is we can either do a surgery and reroute that ulnar nerve in your elbow, or you can look to improve your ergonomics at your desk. And I said, well, I'll try that first. And that's what turned me on to the actual standing desk. And there's my setup there. Let me kind of show you around it. This is the toggle switch. That makes it go up. That one makes it go down. These two are stored settings for your height that you can set. So one I use for standing, two I use for sitting, three and four I don't use, M, I don't even know what that does. But let's just hit one and it'll go up. Boom, you can hear it does make a little bit of noise but nothing that really causes a problem in my life or anything. And noticeably, it's got external monitors on monitor arms. Those are incredibly important because the fundamental problem is with a laptop, your monitor is never in the right position relative to the keyboard, right? They're attached, so they're always next to each other. When to be functionally proper or ergonomic, I guess would be the best way of saying this, to be ergonomic, your monitor needs to be up higher than your keyboard. So. You can see I've got the monitor arms there. The monitor arms cost about 60 bucks on Amazon. Each monitor, uh, well, it's been a few years since I got them, so I don't remember what I paid for them, but I think you could probably pick them up for 130 to 140 each. And then noticeably, I've got the keyboard and mouse external from the Mac. And the Mac just works closed clamshell by plugging in the monitors and closing the lid. So then it all works together. Now, the other cool thing you may have noticed when you look at it is that the wires, except for the power cord, are fundamentally hidden. So let me show you how I pulled that off. And when we get underneath of it there, we will see a power strip. And that is the first step in making it all happen. I mounted a power strip under there, simply just dropped two screws in the end of it. Now I can plug everything in underneath of it. And then all the wires are folded up and zip tied together. And somewhere up there, actually right up near the power strip, I don't know if I can point to it, how do I, how do I point? I'm not too good at that, but the command clips just kind of tack onto the desk underneath there. So that's what I used to tack on underneath there. And basically I've tacked up, you know, like what feels like a hundred miles of cable underneath this desk. And that's all because I've got the power, uh, the power strip under there. So when you're looking at it, it's basically hidden wires, except for the one power cord that needs to come down. Uh, and well, this thing at this point has became vital. I guess, to working from my desk. I really can't stand working without it. I'm incredibly happy with the setup and incredibly happy that I got it. It solved, I don't wanna say solved my elbow pain, but it definitely corrected the issues that were causing the elbow pain. So as long as I'm working you know, at this desk in this setup, I really don't have any elbow pain. Uh, it corrects my posture. It helps my posture stay correct and not you know, doing the little hunched over thing because it's kind of hard to show selfie style. But You'll, you'll probably notice that if you look at just kind of people out in your daily life, you'll see people that are kind of developing this hunchback, particularly at a long age. So having this setup has helped me avoid that. So on that note, guys, if you guys have any questions on my setup, drop them in the comments below and I will try to address them.